Holy cow, that is the single most tacky thing I think that I have ever seen. That's a, like a world record tacky item. Uh, <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, so it's Thursday again, and you know what that means? It is treasure hunting Thursday. Uh, I'm in the process of clearing the entire building out, and on Thursdays, I'm uploading the videos where I go through all of the uh, random stuff all over the building. And on Mondays, I'm uploading uh, videos about the actual projects getting down to the nuts and bolts of working on the building. So, uh, yeah, so this is a series. This stuff is all on the uh, lower floor near my uh, overhead door, and I've got to get it out so that I can have this entire bay front to back uh, completely cleared out and clean. And uh, last week, we took a cart of stuff over to the uh, our little station over there, and it took us an hour to get through it. It looks like there's about that much here, if not even a little more. And uh, yeah, this stuff came into the factory at a later date. It wasn't here when I purchased it, uh, but it's still got to go just like all the other stuff. And I think that we have enough for at least one or two more videos just in this stuff down here alone. Uh... There's some tubs, probably full of clothing and blankets, I'm guessing. Uh, but maybe there's some handmade quilts or something. Who knows? Uh, there are kind of really big pieces of glassware there. There's some ceramic horses poking their heads out in different places. And I saw some boxes with more newspaper wrapped around stuff. So hopefully that'll be really neat, uh, cool stuff to show here on the channel. And so now we're going to pull our cart over and get busy. So hopefully we can accomplish this in less than uh, the time that it takes people to get bored and click off. <laughs> so, okay, let's see what we got. Okay, so I got this handy little uh, tripod. It's gonna keep the camera up a little bit higher. Uh, last time I was putting stuff around, it was getting in the shot, so uh, hopefully we'll be able to see everything in this one. And I guess time to just get started. Let's see what we got here. Uh, first thing I found was this guy right here. And it's an old basket. And kind of looks like a picnic basket. It's in the uh, shape of a heart. And I'm trying to look. It looks like it's... Uh, Actually in pretty good condition. There's no holes in it. One little piece of, there, that's fixed. I should charge money for my uh, skills. Let me adjust you guys just a little bit. There we go. Okay, so it's full of uh, knitting stuff. Here's a bowl somebody made. I think it's kind of a naive bowl somebody made, probably for a fun. Project. Yeah, it's full of uh, knitting stuff, knitting tools, yarn, uh, nothing too, too out of this world. But I think this basket is kind of neat. Yeah, it's still complete. Uh, Uncle Joey. The Dancing Clown. Uh, I guess it's like an animatronic toy of some kind. Uh, yeah. Clowns. Um, there's not too much to say about some of this stuff. I did uh, notice from your comments that if I have some glassware or ceramics, you'd like to see the marks. Uh, so. If if they have them, I'll put them right up to the camera. This one doesn't have one. Uh, ceramic candy dish. The uh, the leaves there are pretty intricate, so it's kind of nice. Um, I think I tall putty tat. I get two brass cats, and here's another cat here. Ceramic. Yeah. All right, the other thing you guys asked for is the date on the uh, 
no glasses. The date on the newspapers. So a lot of this stuff is pretty old. Uh, the newspapers is from the last video or 2014. I'm gonna have to find my glasses, hold on. I look like Clark Kent. Okay, uh, okay uh, that's kind of disappointing. It's just the top to something. I'll set that over here. Maybe we'll find the rest of it in a moment. Uh, the date for the paper is also 2014. So it looks like all of this stuff got put into storage uh, during a move in 2014 and has been in storage ever since. Wow, there's a lot of stuff wrapped in paper in here. Um, I also got scolded by you guys for... Uh, not being careful enough with this stuff. Somehow it's survived. Uh, there's not chips and stuff on it, so uh, I'm gonna try to uh, um, not damage them. So, uh, okay. Oh, this thing's kind of neat. Uh, this is a bobblehead, but it's uh, ceramic. There's a chip on that back feather right there, but from the front, it doesn't look like it's visible. Looks like it looks complete from the front. So, huh. Ceramic tulip, that one's not wrapped. And it says 50 cents, OB, or best offer. <laughs> uh, would you take uh, 25 cents for this guy? Uh, <laughs> or maybe that's somebody's initials from a garage sale. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's kind of neat. All right. Uh, candy dish with no mark on it, but it's iridescent a little bit. So. Yeah. I am totally not a glass person, so I don't know anything about any of this stuff. Except that people lose their minds over Christmas stuff. Yeah. Oh, it's like a maple syrup jar, maybe, from a restaurant? That kind of looks like the ones from, uh, was it Denny's or whatever that they had for a while? That could be vinegar, too, maybe. I'm not sure. There's the uh, mark. If you leave a comment for me to tell me to educate me on uh, some of the stuff that we're looking at, uh, put a, a little note in there, like what time, what minute, and second, because I do actually pay attention to those, and uh, sometimes it's not clear what people are talking about, and uh, that'll, that'll be really helpful for me. So, oh, there's a wiener dog, look at that guy. <laughs> I thought it was an earthworm at first. <laughs> it looks more like an earthworm. Uh, what is it? It's a wiener dog or a Datsun. Okay, getting into bottles again. This says eight dollars on it. We've got a pair of those. It's always good to have things in pairs. Uh, I promise not to do that. Okay, two hands into the box. This says a genuine lead crystal, hand cut, Western Germany. So I don't know if you can read that guy. That's pretty heavy. That thing. You could conk somebody right on the noggin with that guy. I hope there was like a little cap or something. Something being, yeah. Oh, it's a decanter. It's complete. That's nice. All right. <clears throat> I'm afraid that this video has that same kind of tone and feel where people like, they go out picking all weekend and then they do a YouTube video about where they're, uh, you know, selling their stuff online and they're like, this kind of feels like that, even though that's not what's going on here. Uh, 
this has to match the tulip, I'm guessing. Or not. No, maybe not. That's a little bit greener. That's yellow, so. Uh, no, no mark on the bottom. Some of this stuff might have marks in hidden places, but I wouldn't know where to look. I just don't know what I'm gonna find every time I open one of these. It's like Christmas morning, you know? Like, you never know what you're gonna get. Uh, gift Ideas Creations, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Okay. For the sake of time, I'm just throwing newspaper on the ground. Uh, once I get through the box, I'll stop the video and I'll take care and wrap it up. Carefully. Ooh, there's another little jug. Ah, uh, okay. Just clear a glass little dish with handles on it. No marking. Almost works as a magnifying glass. Okay. Oh, there's another piece of the iridescent stuff. So I guess these two go together. It's a matching set. Like the shape of a anatomical heart. Okay. Huh. No mark. I guess this is like some of this stuff is just mass produced. It probably came from the dollar store or something. But you can't guess what that is. how to uh, make this more exciting to watch. <laughs> do a little dance or something uh, <laughs> while I'm opening this stuff. Uh, it strikes again, another lid. Uh, but that looks like, what are those little, those real colorful candy dish things that have the tops on them? My grandma had one. I forget what they're called. And they're like red or amber, yellow, green, all colors. So hopefully we'll find the base to that. And again, another lid. I'm not seeing a lot of big ones in here that could be the basis. Oh, yes, I do. No, I didn't. I spoke too soon. That's uh, super iridescent. I don't know if that's showing up on the camera. But it's a uh, really col colorful base. No chips in it. No mark on the bottom. Uh, okay. Where am I? I'm getting distracted. <laughs> uh, okay. Another dish, so it looks like we might have a, a full set. I don't know how many's in a set of that iridescent glass. Ah, oh, there we go. This is, that's not what I thought it was. So that's pretty cool. 
sadly, it has a very tiny, let me see here, just a very tiny chip on it, right? Oh, almost doesn't even show up in camera, it's so small. Just a tiny little nick right there, yeah. So, it's pretty heavy. Substantial thing. Okay. For milk. And last thing from this box. Oh, I know these are very collectible, but I don't have the base. And that's the first one I think I've ever seen where it has a, you know, the different color head, unless somebody did that later, because it looks like it's rubbed off. Uh, maybe in one of the other boxes we'll find the base to that guy. So, okay, I need to clean all this up and we'll go to box number two. I can't trust some of these boxes. Uh, they're super dirty. Uh, okay. What could that be? Feels heavy. Like a shaving kit or something. Ooh. Solid state radio and alarm clock. That's kind of neat. It's a shame the case is kind of rough, but I think that could be glued back down. I don't know if it's worth that much time and energy. Oh, there's the initials OB again. 25 cents. Uh, no marking. If I see a marking, I will let you know. Ooh, this stuff is not wrapped as well. It's kind of jammed in here. So we may get some broken stuff. Random bits of metal. A 25 cent Kentucky Cardinal plate. The fact that all of these have the same initials on them is kind of weird. It's like somebody went to a garage sale and got a gigantic score. And what else would explain? Oh, here's another giant piece of glass, hard glass, but I can't get it out. It's wedged in there. I hope it's not broken. Ugh, I, don't, I can't even get it out. Two hands, two hands. Okay, we gotta get some other stuff out first. Uh, what are these things called? Cornucopia? Ah, it's been a, when was the last time I heard that word? Uh, oh, this has got a label here. Schaefer, 23 karat gold, guaranteed. <laughs> uh, somehow I doubt that, but uh, yeah, it might be. Who knows? 23 karat. Uh, okay. Here's... Okay, a pitcher. Oh, it's got treasures inside the pitcher. Etched glass, 50 cents. Yeah, I remember growing up going to lots of garage sales and rummage sales around here and everything was a quarter or 50 cents. Uh, not so anymore. That's just a regular glass pitcher, so it's not crystal or anything. All right. I might be able to get it out now. Let's see. Oh, it's not even as big as I thought it was. If you recall, the big weird uh, 
art glass stuff from last time. Uh, this is continuing on with that same stuff. And I had this fantasy that it was like uh, all purchased from an artisan. Somebody said this was Fenton. I'm not sure this stuff is Fenton. It looks a little bit too quirky and kind of one-off-ish, but it might be. Uh, the uh, sticker on it says $1. So, <laughs> uh, that's down the drain. So much for my romantic uh, vision of, you know, a starving artist making something beautiful and, yeah. But uh, maybe it could have been from the buyer before the buyer. So, I'll stick with that. Rabbits. Two rabbits. No mark, I'm not even sure what that is. It's like a hot dog holder. <laughs> All right, okay. There's, there's something gigantic in here, so uh, let me get the stuff out from around it first. Uh, that looks like something you'd find at Walgreens or CVS or something. Running out of room. A planter? Is that what that is? It's very textured. Uh, no mark on it. So. Don't blame me, I just opened the stuff, so. Okay. Here we go. Bunch of more small stuff. Okay, try to clean up the field of view here just a little bit. Pitcher. No mark. There's a reason that's in a plastic bag. Oh. Okay. It smelled like Christmas and broken dreams. Oh. Two dollars. Simple dish, simple glass dish. Okay. Last thing. No, not quite the last thing. From this box. Oh, this is a Christmas tree. You, <laughs> somebody's losing their mind. <laughs> it's like a Christmas tree paperweight. It's like super heavy. Yeah. It's kind of neat, I guess. If that's your thing. All right. Looks like a couple plates or dishes. Missouri.
some weak pattern dish. And that's it for this box. Cleanup time again. Okay, so this one had a bunch of stuff wrapped in newspaper just like the others. And uh, it was a bunch of little stuff. And I just thought, man, I think I'll just go ahead and unwrap it all. And then I can show you just like in one sweep across that. It'll be better for your time, better for mine. So but by far my favorite find from that box is got to be this uh, necktie made out of plastic beads. <laughs> it's got like a jewelry clasp on it. So I guess it's a necklace. Uh, that's pretty funky. I'm a trendsetter. Okay, so big old case here. And I took a peek in it. There's something kind of neat in it. And, whoa, these have wheels on them. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna turn this thing sideways. All right. Stuff is not falling over. It is definitely not falling. No matter what you hear, there is nothing falling over. Okay. Uh, check out this guy here. <laughs> that thing is something else. Oh my gosh. You can almost like make a bird. What is that? It's got like, you put ice in that part and then is that to chill the wine or something? Hmm. And we got a second one. Oh, there's like a an inscription in here. Old World Italian Wine Cooler. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. So it was just a guess, but a pretty good guess, I guess. All right. This must be the wine collection box. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm using some of my editorial discretion not to pull every single thing out, but this thing is kind of neat. Get it out. It's a diorama. And it's not broken. It's a scene with two little, three little deer fawns in there. I don't know if you can see them, but there's a scale. That's kind of neat. That's not your everyday type thing. So I'll set that aside. Uh, sadly, that is it for this box. That was just like a collection of empty bottles. There doesn't seem to be anything valuable or interesting in there, so. Okay, I need to work on my stamina. Uh, three more, uh, three more boxes to go. Hopefully we're gonna find something really cool in one of these. Okay, uh, this one feels like a box full of glassware again, ceramics, sculptures. Uh, at least it's not all wrapped in newspaper, so. Should go a little bit quicker. All right, so hand tooled leather wallet. Vintage playing card set. Some kind of serving dish. Made in China. There's the mark there. Flower pattern. Oh. Teacups. I don't know if I should be opening all these. You've seen one teacup, you've seen them all. So. <laughs> Is that prejudiced of me? I'm prejudiced against glassware. Uh, okay. That's okay. To each their own, right? Different strokes for different folks. Some kind of a green candy dish. 
no mark on it. Uh, glazed pottery. No visible signature or name or anything. So. Okay. More dishes. Here. Oh, Christmas stuff. All right. All right. If I have to. Rocking horse. There's the label, much too small for me to read. Maybe somebody can zoom in and figure what out that says. It actually rocks, so. All right. All right, first cool thing so far. Uh, <laughs> That's a that's a serious screwdriver. Somebody had some really serious turning to do with that guy. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Another little. No maker's mark. Just says made in China. So I'm guessing this is like stuff that would have been at like I don't know, little touristy shop type thing. Big set of dishes. Uh, there's the pattern. They all match, same as that teacup, so. Uh, that was an easy box. Okay, so once again, I have uh, gone ahead of the uh, video and unwrapped everything to make it a little bit quicker. Uh, time is starting to get along. Uh, there's some kind of interesting stuff, but I've also got those uh, three or four things that I put aside uh, from the very beginning that I've been saving till the very end to show you. So stay tuned for that. Uh, let's go real quickly. Uh, this seems to be pretty old. Uh, it's really heavy. There's no mark on the bottom. Uh, I'm not into glassware, but that's that's got a real vintage look to it. I don't know. <laughs> What the heck is she selling? I what is that? What what is that? Like, it's not grapes. Uh, I thought at first it was like a a thing of a, jars of olives or something. Maybe uh, maybe that's a clue or whatever she's putting. But yeah, I don't know what that is. Somebody, please let me know what she's holding. Uh, it has to be something to do with the harvest because she's got a full basket there of something. So, I mean, I guess it could be like uh, symbolic of whatever is actually in here. So I don't know, but that thing's pretty neat. Yep. Okay. Moving on. Uh, okay. <laughs> I, it's like a straight up comedy fest. Remember the uh, item from the last time that we were going through these boxes? It was like uh, the stuff of nightmares, right? I think I found another piece by the same person. It looks like it's in the same style. And amazingly, uh, it's not chipped anywhere. And it was like in just laying in a box with, a, with uh, three or four rocks in there. So, uh, <laughs> uh, that looks like somebody I know. Oh my gosh, you know who you are. All right, okay, we gotta keep moving. There's another little lid here. It has that really fine type stuff. I don't know what that is. It must be like a thing. Oh, wait, there's a signature on here. Uh, explain this to me. If you're gonna go to the trouble of signing a piece of work, uh, don't, <laughs> don't you think that you should go to the trouble of making it actually legible? <laughs> What's the point? What's the point of signing that? Oh my gosh! All right, it's getting too funny around here. All right, so uh, yeah, there's another piece of that. It's a lid to something. I don't know. Anyway, uh, okay. Next thing uh, is a pretty cool. Got a little jewelry box. Um, 
nothing inside and no mark on the bottom that I can see. Yeah. It's kind of cute if that's your thing. Not mine. Okay, so that brings me to uh, the stuff that I set aside so that I would be able to end the uh, video on a positive note. So uh, the absolute best thing will be at the very end. But uh, first thing, it's kind of cool. It's got some condition issues, really. Is this uh, advertising clock uh, for Schlitz Kool-Aid. And uh, it's missing, I think, uh, this plastic face here, which probably would have had something else written on it. And then it's got a little cracked part right there. And uh, I haven't plugged it in to uh, see if it works. But, yeah, if somebody's into advertising, especially uh, Kool-Aid advertising, that could be something for them. And, uh, okay, so uh, try to wrap this up. Things are flying by, but this is kind of cool stuff. So I got this gigantic lamp, and uh, I don't know what style that is. Maybe Empire, because it's got a lion head on it. I mean, it's imitation empire, right? Or like quasi pseudo empire. But it does look kind of old. The, uh, the plug is kind of modern, but not very modern. So uh, yeah, and it's got a finial right there. Okay. Now the next, uh, I have another pair of lamps here because I'm a lamp guy. I have been ever since I watched uh, a Christmas story when I was a kid. And uh, I have a pair of lamps. I'd like you guys to tell me, are they mid-century modern or not? Uh, I haven't seen anything like them before. If they're not mid-century modern, tell me what they are. They might just be like 1980s junk lamps. So uh, they're near pair, not exact. Uh, but they're pretty bold and they do make a statement, so. Uh, check those guys out. Like I said, not an exact match. Uh, what part of this lamp do you need to look at to kind of evaluate? You know, age or whatever it is. Oh, there's a label on the bottom of that guy. Might be even too small with glasses on. Maybe somebody could zoom in on that. Uh, here's the plug. So, it, yeah, that definitely looks like it's got some age. <laughs> I'm looking at the plug and not the camera. There you go. Uh, yeah, so it's kind of an older one, not super old. Uh, yeah, and that brings me to Pièce de Résistance. You ready for this? Holy cow. That is the single most tacky thing I think that I have ever seen. That's a, like a world record tacky item. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, yeah. I'm going to cover this up just a little bit. And uh, this is from the... <laughs> I. <laughs> Use a, I can use a bigger finger here to make me double sure. Uh, yeah, this is a, a wine glass, I guess, and it says it's from the Sugar Shack. And uh, that definitely is 1970s. This has got to be. Uh, or maybe it's just made to look like that, but good grief. So uh, who wants to drink their wine out of that thing? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so uh, thank you so much for... Uh, be with me again today and uh, we'll continue again next week uh, next week we're back upstairs looking through the stuff up there and then the following week hopefully we'll be able to uh, wrap up on that one um, and then uh, of course next Monday is another project video here at the uh, at the factory so uh, thanks again and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon bye